sixth grade, module three, lesson 15, problem set. Name the quadrant in which each of these points lie. If it does not lie in a quadrant, specify which axis the point lies on. Okay, I'm just gonna draw a quadrant, or a coordinate grid. And remember, this is quadrant one, quadrant two, it goes in reverse clockwise, counterclockwise, so quadrant three and quadrant four. All right, negative two, five. So negative two, five, we go to the left, negative two, and then up five. So about right there would be negative two, five, so that is quadrant two. Eight, negative four would be positive eight, and then down four, so somewhere in there, that's quadrant four. Negative one, negative eight. So negative one to the left one, down eight, that would be quadrant two. 3, 9 and 2 tenths, 7, so 9 and 2 tenths maybe would be, this was 8, so this might be like 9 and 2 tenths, and then up 7 would be in quadrant 1, and 0, negative 4, so we go to the left or right, 0, so it stays right here, and then down 4. So that isn't on a quadrant, or in a quadrant, it, um, is in between three and four, but it lies on the, this is the y-axis. So it's on the y-axis. Number two, Jackie claims that the points with the same x and y coordinates must lie in quadrant one or quadrant three. Do you agree or disagree? So let's try like points with the same x and y. So like three, three. So three, three would be right there, which is in quadrant one. Let's try negative, negative two, negative two. Um, that would be in quadrant three. So I almost agree, except for, what about zero, zero? So if we had zero, zero, that doesn't lie in quadrant one or three. So I would say, I almost agree, but let's say most do, However, zero, zero does not lie in quadrant one or quadrant three. It's the origin. Right, zero, zero, that is the origin. It's not in any quadrant. Number three, locate and label each set of points on the coordinate plane. Describe the similarities of the ordered pairs in each set. So A, negative two, five. So we go to the left two and then up five. So there's negative two, five. Negative two, negative two would be right, nope. That's negative two, oh, no, that was right, sorry. Negative two, positive two is right there. Negative two, two, negative two, seven would be two above negative two, five. Negative two, negative three, it's down here. Negative two, negative eight tenths. So we go over negative two and then kind of right before we hit one. Negative two, negative eight tenths. So what do we notice about the similarities in each set? So for A, what I notice is that the x coordinate is always two. negative two. And it says, describe the points on the plane. So let's say that they are all on a vertical line. I could draw a vertical line. So they're all on a vertical line. on a vertical line above and below negative two 
on the x-axis. Okay, now let's do B, negative 9, 9. So now we're going to go negative 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's negative 9 and then up 9, positive 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there is negative 9, 9. Negative 4, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is negative 4, 4. Negative 2, 2. We've already plotted that. Negative 2, 2. 1, negative 1. So we go positive over 1, down 1. 1, negative 1. 3, negative 3. So 1, 2, 3, negative 1, 2, 3. and zero, zero. So what do we notice about all of those points? I noticed that the x and y coordinates are always opposites. So they're all opposites and they all fall on a diagonal line. So they're all on a diagonal line that goes through the origin. Diagonal line through um, quadrant two, four, and the origin. Quadrant four and the origin. And lastly, let's do C. Negative seven, negative eight. So I'm gonna go negative two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's negative seven, negative eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Negative 7, negative 8, 5, negative 8. So positive 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 8. Zero, negative 8, so 0, and then down to negative 8. 10, negative 8. So there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then down to negative eight. And negative three, negative eight. So one, two, three. Negative eight. So what I notice is these are all on a horizontal line through negative eight. So they all have, so the y coordinates are all negative eight. And we can say that all points are on a horizontal line, line, to the left and right of negative eight. So they're on a horizontal line to the left and right of negative eight on the y-axis, right? So they go through the y-axis, right? This is the y-axis. They go through the y-axis and they're on negative eight. 
Number four, locate and label at least five points on the coordinate plane that have an x-coordinate of six. So lots of different answers here. Your x-coordinate just must be six. So let's find six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna plot, I'll start with six, zero. And then I'll plot six, three. And let's do six, six. Now let's do some negatives. How about six, negative three, and six, negative six. Okay, so there's my five points. What is true of the y coordinates below the x axis? So the y coordinates below the x axis, or these, are negative. So we can say they're negative. What is true of the y-coordinates above the x-axis? So above the x-axis, axis, they are positive. What must be true of the y-coordinates on the x-axis? So we actually plotted one on the x-axis, and it is 0. So we can say that it must be zero.